These people and animals survived getting impelled. Look at this, a metal barbecue skewer sticking out of this boy's head. It went from below his eye to the back of his skull. This was definitely just the most terrifying experience I've ever had. In 2018, Xavier Cunningham was playing with friends in his Missouri backyard. They threw the skewer into the ground where it landed with the sharp end sticking up. Then Xavier climbed down from a tree, lost his footing, and fell right on the skewer. I opened my eyes and I was like, and just screamed my head off. His mom, Gabrielle, fearing the worst, rushed him to the ER. He could barely move his mouth. But by some miracle, the skewer missed all his vital organs. This thing missed the eye, missed the brain, it missed the spinal cord. The x-ray is unbelievable. That lets you see for the first time how close this thing is to the carotid artery. That's the major artery that goes to the brain. In this video of the surgery, you can see the doctor's hand carefully pulling it out. When the doctor came through the door and he just said, he goes, it's out. And just the, the, the relief, and I was like, can I hug you? Afterward, the doctor handed the skewer to Xavier as a souvenir. So we got sure. something for you. Sure do. Five days after the operation, the hole where the skewer went in was covered by just a little band-aid. He was swollen and sore, but made a full recovery. The whole thing's a miracle. This went about that far in my head. In 2019, a Florida teenager was lucky to be alive after part of a boat anchor went into his skull. Caleb Bennett was fishing with friends when an anchor fell off the boat and lodged in his head. As soon as I got my hands on it, I kind of felt what it was, and I realized it was in my head pretty far. I told my friend, hey, you need to call 911 or I'm going to die. His parents were vacationing in the Bahamas and had to rush home to see him. We just heard there was a boating accident and an anchor hit him in the head. When I first saw Caleb, I, I thought I was going to be sick. You know, it's very hard to see your kid hooked up to every tube to see that stand with, you know, seven to 12 different medicines going in his body. Medical staff was stunned by Caleb's condition seen bullets through and through. So I've seen things like this, but I've never seen, a, seen an anchor. Caleb was put in a medically induced coma and part of his skull was removed to allow his brain room to swell. His family was worried what condition he would be in when he woke up. But within a week, Caleb was on the road to recovery. His parents were relieved, but his doctors were shocked. I've never seen somebody with an injury like that walk out of the hospital almost completely neurologically intact. That's, I mean, that, that's one in a million. Months later, Caleb was back on the water with family and friends. My friends now call me the anchor man, so that's kind of cool. Kind of a big deal around here. In 2019, Eli Gregg survived after a knife accidentally went through his face and into his brain. The point going very deep into the skull. Here's another view from the side. It looked pretty grim. It looked pretty grim. It was scary. Um, they said there was a possibility of stroke. Eli was sent to the University of Kansas hospital. You're hoping that you don't need any of that and it's just take the knife out and everything's good, uh, which in this case was, the, was how it went. Doctors feared the sharp blade was too close to a vital artery. Where you can see the artery, you can see the blade, and the proximity of those two things right there. But the surgery was a success. I'm not even sure exactly how it happened at this point, but yeah, it was scary. Look at this jaw-dropping photo of a dog stuck on a fence with one of the sharp iron spikes piercing right through him. I have a dog that tried to jump over a fence and got himself impaled on it. He said the dog oh, tried to jump a fence and what? He's got himself impaled. Here's what happened. In 2016, Wilbur was chasing birds when he tried to jump the fence surrounding his North Carolina backyard. His owner was shocked to find Wilbur impelled on the fence when she came home from the grocery store. This is the section of the fence where we found Wilbur. He was impaled with his bottom on this side and his two-thirds on this side. Marianne's son held up the 90-pound lab until rescuers arrived. Firefighters brought out a tool normally used to rescue people from mangled cars to cut the fence. 
Wilbur was rushed to the vet with the spikes still in him. This is the actual fence segment that Wilbur impaled on, and he had, in trying to jump it, had this goat first into his belly, and then he kind of somehow repositioned himself, and it slid where it came, exited near his rear end under his tail. None of Wilbur's vital organs were damaged as the metal spike went clean through. He should make a full recovery, have no long-term complications of this whatsoever. In September of 2022, this man was in need of help after he got shot with an arrow. Jeremy Klingenpill and his son Colton were shooting targets with a bow and arrow at home in Iowa when something went wrong. My son released his bow to shoot at the target and somehow um, there was a malfunction and the back of the arrow hit the bow and veered clear over and hit my husband in the left side. Surveillance video showed the aftermath of the freak accident. Tracy is a nurse and when she saw her husband's condition, she knew it was serious. I was terrified. I knew that there was, you know, his, his lungs, his heart. I didn't know what kind of damage he was going to have, but the arrow was sticking out of him and I mean, he was still conscious and talking to me at that time. It looked like almost half the arrow was in him. Jeremy was rushed to the hospital where he needed emergency surgery. He suffered a collapsed lung, lacerated spleen, and a punctured diaphragm. Afterward, he went home to recover. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.